name is Aiza from the Innovation Consortium. And today I'd like to share with you about bolts or screws. Uh, <coughs> so bolts, basically, I would like to share about the specification, the main specification of the bolts. Mm, the most common types of bolts uh, we have on the market are the hexagonal bolts, the one you see here. So why hexagonal? Because the head is mainly hexagonal. So it's a hexagonal screw or a hexagonal bolt. So they are the most common types of bolts we use. Uh, how we specify the bolts? It's by the, <coughs> the pitch and the diameter. The major diameter, the major diameter which is this one here, if we are to measure, here we are seeing a, a 16. So this is M16, which is the major diameter and the pitch, the pitch, the distance between two corresponding threads. Uh, here we are having, it is a 1.75. 1, 1 so the pitch is 1.75. So the main specification of a bolt, it's the major diameter and the pitch. So the rest in comes in at, uh, as a by the way. So, <coughs> talk about the few common types of bolts we use in our daily works uh, first of all we are talked about the hexagonal bolt uh, so that is the, that is the first piece the second one it's a countersunk screw or bolt as you can see the head so basically the name is given to the bolt depending on the type of the head the bolt has so this is the head so the head is countersunk, that's why it's called a countersunk bolt or screw. We have an allen cap screw or allen cap bolt. Uh, that's because the head has an allen cap. Uh -huh. So once I have my allen, allen, allen key, it can enter properly in the allen cap. So that's why it's called and allen cap bolt or screw. Third, we are having a row, a row bolt. These ones are mainly used to to anchor uh, pieces in walls or in concrete. So they are called the row bolts. <coughs> and the other is a cheese head, a cheese head screw, or it could be a bolt if it has a nut. So that's because the head is a cheese head. That's why it's called a cheese, a, a cheese head screw. Um, talking about or elaborating the specification of the screw, as we had said earlier on, we consider the major diameter. If you ever, if you ever came across uh, such a specification anywhere where they sell these screws you find those assort assortment bins they will be having something like M12 by 1.75 so the M stands for the major diameter as we had seen earlier on then the 12 will be the size of the diameter so the major diameter is 12 uh, then times the 1.5 so this is the pitch this one is the major diameter <coughs> major diameter times the pitch so that's how they specify the bolts so the rest which comes in then will be the length of the threads and depending on the length of the objects you want to first aid, it could be a thickness of maybe one inch. If you want to, to tighten one inch, so you'll be having a, a screw of M12 by the pitch of 1.75 by the length of maybe one inch. And one inch is 
25.4 millimeters. So basically, it's the major diameter, the pitch, and the length of the threads. Uh, the other one is the materials, the, the material of the, the that specific fastener or the bolt. Uh, bolts come in different types of materials depending on what you're fastening. It could be mild steel, it could be stainless steel, it could be copper, it could be aluminium. So depending on what you're fastening. And the last could be the spanner size. Uh, and most of the laymen we have in, in our fabrication works, they consider the spanner size. So somebody could approach you and tell you I want spanner 19. So spanner 19 is screw. And once you're <coughs> experienced, you'll know that the bolt of M12 is spanner 19. The bolt of M10 is spanner 17. So the spanner size is also a specification on it. So, so basically, that's it for the specification of these screws or bolts. Uh, Armin Isaac from the Innovation Consortium. Thank you very much.